Hey guys, I'm Dee Allen, and this is another Women Throwing Leather vlog. So one of my faves is returning to the cage this Thursday for TPF 26, Zoila, Warrior Princess Frausto, taking on a yet-to-be-determined... There's very little info on Karina Herrera. She's had about three fights. Two of those wins, one of them was a loss, which was her last fight against Amber Tackett for TWC 23 back in October. Now, in reviewing that fight, what was quickly evident was the skill level of both fighters. I mean, in comparison to, say, Invicta FC or, you know, the UFC, Tackett showed more uh, technique and more skill than Herrera. But then again, you know, Herrera did have some heavy hands and she rocked Tackett more than a few times. Now, Frausto is looking to get back into the win column because unfortunately she hasn't favored so well in her last four fights. The most recent being a unanimous decision loss to Jocelyn Jones Liebarger at RFA 31, the huge fan of Zoila that I am. That was a tough fight to watch. You know, it. honestly, it's tough to see her get beat like that. Let's face it, she took a beating. She took that beating like a champ. But you know what? You got to give her credit. I mean, she was in it until the end. She was not going to tap. She was not going to give up. She lasted all five rounds. The, the injuries that she sustained after that fight were horrendous. So basically what I think this fight is, it's for Frausto to get back on the bike. You know, she's coming off a loss from Jones Liebarger at RFA 31. She's been training hard and she needs to get back in there. She needs to fight. You know, she's a fighter. That's what she does. So she needs to get back in there and fight. This is what I love about Zoila. She's not just a fighter physically. She's also a fighter emotionally and mentally. She doesn't ever stay down in a fight or, you know, in her life personally. She always gets back up in her fights and in life. Case in point, this upcoming fight, she's back in the cage again. If you follow Zoila's career and her life to any degree, you've seen some of the things that she's gone through, you know, both in the cage uh, and in her personal life, and she's still standing. Cue the Elton John song. I'm still standing, stronger than I've ever been. She's still standing. What you have here is a fighter with very little experience taking on a fighter who at one time was the number one straw weight in the world. And yeah, that is true. Let's go ahead and fact check that. In 2010, Bellator had an eight woman tournament to crown the first ever Bellator women's champion. That tournament included fighters who now make up a good portion of the UFC strawweight division. Needless to say, the fighters in that tournament were some of the best in the world. And one of them was the best in the world. Of course, who I'm talking about, the legend, Megumi Mega Magoo Fujii. Now, at that time, Megumi Fuji was pound for pound the number one strawweight on the planet. So the question is, who won the tournament? Who beat the number one straw weight on the planet? The answer to those questions can be summed up with four words. Zoila, Warrior Princess Frausto. If you beat the number one straw weight in the world, does that not make you the number one straw weight in the world? Because when you beat the best, you become the best. So that being said, unless Herrera has upped her skill level in a short amount of time, Frosto's probably going to take it. That being said, Herrera does have some heavy hands. She's got some power in that right hand. I mean, she rocked Tackett. Anything can happen once that cage door closes. That's what makes the sport so amazing, so exciting, because you never know what's going to happen. I can't wait to see it. It's going to be an interesting fight. So once again, it is Zoila Warrior Princess Frausto taking on Karina Herrera at TPF 26, Thursday, February 18th. It'll be live streaming on SureDog.com, so check it out. If you have a comment about this episode, go ahead and leave it below. I do read those and respond occasionally. Once again, I am D. Allen. Thanks again for watching Women Throwing Leather. You're awesome. Don't forget to subscribe and share.